Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD, Travel Cynics, and I'm back with another quick video. Today's video is going to be my fourth growth law, and that law is goal setting. Goal setting is going to be a huge aspect of your growth process. In this video, I'm going to discuss short-term or small goals, long-term goals, or what we like to call big goals, and also the importance of moving the goalposts with your goals. Before we get into the video, if you're interested in travel, fitness, and growth-related content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop new videos. Now back to the video. I want to start off by saying we should always dream big because at the end of the day our dreams and our goals can always be reached no matter how lofty or unrealistic they seem to the outside world. We're the ones that put a glass ceiling above our heads when in actuality the sky's the limit. We don't need to put a governor on our goals. We should just mash the gas and get as much out of our capabilities as possible. When kids are small, they tend to have big goals of being an astronaut or playing an NBA, which are both attainable, but usually the outside world tells these kids at a young age that they need to be realistic or always have a backup plan just in case they fail. Once you add a backup plan into the equation, you are already lost. This creates self-doubt in the kids and they end up not going as hard at their goals as they should have if they had 100% conviction that they can attain their dreams. At the end of the day, we need to believe in ourselves first in order for our goals to materialize. The more negative thoughts creep in, the further we're pushed away from accomplishing our goals. This leads me to say that when you have a lofty goal or even a small goal, we should keep our mouths shut to the outside world and not share our goals with anyone. Maybe if you have a few close friends or confidants that you can share your information with and they'll support you 100% or even give you some game tips on how you might be able to reach your goals faster. But for the most part, you don't want to share your goals with too many people. That's where you run into the hate, negativity, and people that might be intimidated by you dreaming big. We always want to let our actions do the talking. In today's society, social media is extremely prevalent and people love to tell you what they're going to do next or share a message about something that they have no knowledge about. People aren't practicing what they preach and when you prematurely announce your goals and intentions to the world, you're putting yourself at risk of being one of these people. Have your goals written down or just tucked off in your head and just grind. For the most part, we live in a society of small-minded people who are just happy with getting paid a decent salary, having a good title at their job, and being able to afford material trinkets to make their image look better. In my opinion, that lifestyle is for the birds and it's superficial as hell. For me, meaningful life requires chasing your goals, doing what you're passionate about, even if you're not getting paid to do it, thriving, not just existing and being a cog in a wheel. I'm not knocking anyone who chooses to go the route of 9 to 5 or working for somebody else by any means. I think we all need to experience that because a lot of the time there are valuable lessons to be learned from that work. I would just recommend that people never lose sight on their passions and if you have a 9 to 5, always be on your 5 to 9 grind. Side hustles, passion projects, hobbies, or whatever brings you joy. Your 5 to 9 time and weekends are sacred. So don't waste some drinking and socializing at happy hour or partying on the weekends chasing women nonstop. Now when it comes to goal setting, we should have a bunch of goals in our agenda at all times. Smaller goals, medium goals, large goals, daily goals, long term, short term, you name it. A short term goal could be that in one month you want to lose 10 pounds and lower your body fat by X amount of percentage points. And a long term fitness goal could be that in two years you want to be on the cover of a fitness magazine. These goals are both attainable, but we just need to take the necessary steps to get there. How do we do it? Daily goals. We should be mapping out our days and moving with the purpose. If you want to lose 10 pounds in a month, you should be scheduling and planning your meals for each day, not just going to work with a $20 budget and making a decision on what lunch is going to be by what you're in the mood to eat according to your taste buds that day. You should be prioritizing your workouts and placing them in your schedule, not saying to yourself, I'll get a workout in today when I can. That's how you end up not getting your workout in and how you end up eating a burrito for lunch, opposed to eating that meal prep veggies and protein. Your long term goals depend on your daily goals as well, because the consistency of your daily and short term goals is the foundation of your long term goals. You might have a goal of losing 10 pounds this month and next month your goal might be to be able to do 10 pull ups consecutively. You keep leveling up with consistency. That creates a compound effect of level ups and before you know it you surpass your long term goals before you even plan to get to them. Now that's when you need to move the goal post. Once you knock out a goal or reach a goal early, it's time to move the goal post back and create a bigger goal. 
and reach a little higher and work a little harder. Complacency is a dream killer. As soon as we get satisfied, that's when setbacks happen. In my opinion, you're either doing something that helps you grow or you're taking steps back. Sometimes we need to take two steps back in order to move forward, like resting if we're injured or taking some money out of our savings if we're dealing with an emergency. These things happen in life, and a lot of times we become better because of it. But taking steps back just because we're happy we achieved our goal ain't cool. We should always be hungry and striving for more. One way to hold ourselves accountable with our goals is to write our goals down. That could be in your notes on a note app on your phone, a physical notepad, a vision board, or write it on a piece of paper and post it somewhere in your house you know you'll see it multiple times per day. Last night I went over to my girl spot and I saw that she had a piece of paper taped to her mirror in the bathroom with a list of daily tasks that she wants to complete every day. Researching, walking, reading for pleasure, and a few other things. This is a great method of self accountability and I'd definitely be incorporating that in my own apartment. Now something I like to do with my daily goals is write my workouts down on a piece of notebook paper before I go to the park and keep that paper in my shorts pocket. I hate having stuff in my pocket while working out, so I'll always take that paper out and remind myself the task at hand before I start training. At the end of the day, goal setting enhances your discipline, it gives you purpose, drive, and it helps with self accountability. It compounds into greater success and morphs into bigger dreams and loftier goals. We should all take some time today to write down our daily goals, short term goals, and long term goals physical, mental, educational, financial, and spiritual. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and if you have something to add, leave it in the comment section. If you're interested in my online training, which is a weekly personalized body weight training program with diet coaching, video examples, and weekly check-ins, go ahead and hit my Instagram DMs or my email, which will both be in the description box. I can most definitely help you guys reach your physical fitness goals, so holler at me. That's it for the video today, y'all. Have a great day. Peace. Pretty cheap. You could also maybe do like a muscle with your feet on the ground, man. Kind of like oh, what yeah. he's doing and just like flip the wrist. I mean, like, chat, the, the, I seen he was doing last time, it's um, when you go like this, go out.